Welcome back to Swology Golf. This is part two of our match at Chalk Mountain, so if you're new here, make sure you check out part one first. But in this video, we continue on to the back nine at Chalk Mountain. This is course number four out of five from our Swology Golf road trip, so subscribe if you aren't already and enjoy the video. All right guys, welcome to part two of Chalk Mountain Golf Course. We're here on the 10th hole, it's a par five, 504 to the green. Go right. Oh, stay in, please. Dude, it should it be in? either right by that fence or over it, I don't know. We got driver in hand. We're gonna smoke this thing. Oh my gosh. Come on. No, dude, that should be good. Dude, that was... Oh, I might have messed dude, up on I the camera, guys. My bad. That thing. I really hope we get to play here. Oh, dude, I hope that's level one. Oh, I like one. Hey, guys, we're literally right next to the range. All right, we're going to try and hurry this up because we're not trying to get hit. Yeah, I just stayed in play. I'm going to try to go over these trees over there. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Get over. Dude, I tried to hit it not too far because I don't know where the fairway is. Hopefully, I'm in the fairway. All right, guys, we're about 182 out, hitting seven iron. These trees are kind of in play, so I'm gonna try to get it up quick, or I'm gonna try to like miss a little bit left and short. That way we can give ourselves a good opportunity for uh, birdie still. Oh, shoot. Dude, I completely like lost my footing. All right, I've got six iron here, just literally a few yards in front of Dylan. Oh! oh! Stay down. Nice. Dang, okay. Not terrible. Cart pass got me a little boost. What's a good round of golf without a shank or two, right? All right, try to get back and play. I think he's just going to punch out or something. Oops. Dang. Meant to zoom in. Okay, guys, we got a 52 right here. Uh, we have about 110 to the pin. Trying to just get on the green, give ourselves a chance for par. Really capitalize on this. That is such a difficult lie to hit out of. Yeah, honestly, but not honestly, bad. Honestly, not a bad shot. We could get a chip, maybe get up and down. All right, just landed short of the green here. Got a 56 to loft it up again. It's been a lot, a lot of these types of shots. Oh my goodness. Man, chunked it and short. Not what you want to see. 44 yards, little hole out birdie. Oh yeah. Uh, Not in the hole, but it's up there. Not gonna lie, back nine starting off rough with this hole, but I'm feeling confident. I, I just want to see a hole out. That's what I'm going for. Well, it's kind of tough when you blade it. Time to show off my putting skill. For all the marbles, or for all the, you know what I mean. Oh, baby. Dude, Wait, oh my what? goodness. I love but hate this game. <laughs> Just shy. I'll give it to him. All right, guys, back nine. Not the best start right now, but we're really trying our best. We're trying to catch up, uh, not really catch up, but like, you know, shoot some better scores, what I mean. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. A lot of golf to play. Okay guys, 310 yard hole, pretty straight away. Although there is some water or like a, like a ravine in play. So we're gonna hit driver, try to hit it nice and soft. Hopefully it doesn't go too far. Oh, shoot. Dude, I was focusing way too hard on hitting it all. Hey, same thing, I got driver. Gonna go up that right side. Oh. I think we'll be able to find that. I mean, if you lay up, like, you're just not playing golf, right? I got five wood. We're about 230. Try to get it right on the green. 
Oh my goodness. That's really short and spinny. That's gonna be right in the thing. Wait, I didn't see it land. Uh, I think I hit the bushes. All right, just going for a punch out here. Try to get back on the fairway. Not too shabby. I'm just gonna hit a soft P wedge. You got about a hundred yards, but there's wind and everything's been short today. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, well it's playable. That's looking good. Dude, that felt nice. I was that felt nice. That's all I can say. I don't know what else to say, dude. About 47 yards, just landed short. A little bit on the right side. Here we go. 60 degree. Oh shoot. No oh, way. Oh, no oh, way. Dude. I thought it was gonna hole out, dude. <laughs> I landed right there that close almost made it in for a hole out let's see what ronald can do here though he's got a putt literal inches this is the real tapping this is for bogue come on dang i honestly thought i hit it hard enough with this slope but just a little bit more would have been the touch nice job thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you kind sir all right guys we got a pretty short par four 310 yards it's actually on the right side it's kind of a weird hole but we're going d stick here oh shoot Dang, that's a pretty good shot, boy. Oh, that's beautiful. Get over. Oh, dude, it might roll into the ravine. All right, guys. Just short of the green, once again, upward slope, 56 degree. Happened a lot today. Oh. It might have stayed on. It didn't have too much spin though, so I'm not too sure. Dang, Ooh. my chip was just a bit short. Forgot to say, 60 degree, small 30 yard chip. Not the way I wanted. All right, not quite on the green. Not the best chip, uh, chip, but it's okay. We're gonna try to put it uphill right here. See what we can do. Honestly, not that bad though. Yeah. All right, sink. That was to get par. Pretty bad. Or wait, no, I mean pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I got a birdie putt here. Pretty good look at it. I think it's a bit of a left to right putt. Oh my gosh, dude. Just leaving everything short today. Woo! Nice job. here on this hole hole number 13 it's a long par four and i'm saying long because it looks like about uphill about 200 feet kind of crazy come oh, on no. take two oh, not bad man. You guys already know what's going on. I don't even need to tell you. Dang, that's a little flirt. All right. Oh. Actually, I think I can find that. Here we go, guys. I got four iron. I'm just going to kind of punch it over this hill. I can't really see where I'm hitting, so I'm just going to lay up on this hole. That was a smart play. That is exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, guys, Dylan's ball went in there. Are you just going to punch out? Yeah, like, I'm going to... I think I'm going to try to go for up here because I really have nothing to lose. Okay. 
shoot. Dude, this hill is so inclined that we're literally like sliding down slowly, even when it's in park. We're gonna need to punch out again because, I mean, I think you guys can kind of tell. <laughs> but double punch out, nine iron this time. I, I don't even know. Just try to get it in play. Oh, a little cart path assistance. Little 52, gonna try to get it up about 95 yards. Oh, nice shot. I think that was pretty good. Yeah, it should be on that dance floor. All right, about the same yardage as Dylan's here. I'm, I was literally like a few feet away from his ball. I've got a gap wedge. Oh no. That actually might be good. Come on, keep going. I think I still got a little chip to get onto that green. Cause I got a putter here, um, just really flat fringe. So I felt the putter was the play. Ooh, about three feet out. What are you seeing there? Looks like he's gonna break left to right. About a 25 footer. Not that much break. Still pretty close, that's good. Oh! One sixteen. Kind of into the wind, I might hit P wedge here. Wouldn't mind a sponsor. 14th hole right here, pitching wedge in hand. It's playing 116 for like the, the. On the range finder. On the range finder. <laughs> and, but it's really windy. It's into wind, so I'm gonna hit pitching wedge. That's short. Is it? Oh, a little bit, a little short. All right, same thing here. I got pitching wedge. Solid contact is all I need, really. Oh, no. Just right side of the green there. Whoa, those are cool. Dude, those birds were sick. I don't wonder the tire mark right here. <laughs> okay, they need to make that roundabout bigger. Oh, no. All right, guys, green side here. Just looking to get it somewhere on the green to give myself some putt. Oh, my. Honestly, I'm just going to putt it from over there. Look at this woodpecker, guys. This course has been cool with the wildlife. Literally, woodpecker right there. There's deer under these trees. That's sick. No. Not too spin, shabby. Though. Still on the green. Got a nice little putt here. Might as well make it. Should be a nice comfortable nine iron for him. Oh, wait. Oh, dude, it looked so what good on the screen. Did it make me think that I was going to make it? All right, guys. I could either make this to tie the hole, or win the hole, sorry. Or if I get it close, I could tie the hole. Dude, I literally am leaving everything short today. Whatever I do, I'm not gonna leave this short. I promise. It's okay, it's okay. Just making progress. Wait, oh, that's where we came. Dude, why do they make these turns so smart? Like, I can't even talk, I'm just flabbergasted, man. These turns. <laughs> Hello guys, 427 yards, par five, D stick in hand. I don't even know why I need to tell you guys, I always got the D stick in hand. 
Ooh. Oh nice my little god, low I really caught that. Piercer. Oh. What? Looks like it's in the middle, so it's okay. Dude, it's still rolling. Really? And it literally just stopped. Yeah, you got a lot of roll. <laughs> Alright guys, I got the driver. It's a little bit of a tight fairway, so I was a little bit scared on using this club, but we're just gonna go for it. Never be scared. Whatever happens, happens. Oh, and it's oh. beautiful. Wait, I beautiful. Didn't see it bounce. It's literally dead center. No, I no, I didn't see it. No, bounce. I literally saw it bounce. Okay, cool. It dead center and it crawled a little bit left. That was sick. Drive to the fairway. Honestly, I think we can turn it around. We might need to play another 18. Dude, honestly, yeah. We're, from yesterday, it's like a night and day difference. Both of our games. But uh, another round, I'm starting to get a little tired. That's a cool tree though. Dude, that reminds me of like a tree when you're like a kid that you like want to go climb. You're like, hey mom, can I go climb that tree? <laughs> Alright guys, I got seven iron. Uh, it might not get there, but it's a par five, so I'm fine with the layup. Oh yeah. Like I said, I'm fine with the layup. Okay guys, so we're about 178 from the pin. It's a red flag, par five, seven iron in hand. Try to reach it in two, get an eagle. You know, maybe albatross. Dang. Oh, baby. Oh, shoot. That changed quick. Honestly, dude, that's not bad, though. Nice little chip. I've got gap wedge about 100 yards out. Not liking this lie, but we're going to make it do. Oh no. Stop, stop, stop. Oh my gosh, dude. This lie, I topped it, but at least we're not in the bunker. Got me a trusty little 5 6 wedge. But you know, it's par 5. Dude, that actually felt good. I don't really care that it's long. That that felt nice in the hand. Time to bring out my famous bump and run shot. It's got the red flag over there. It's looking a little juicy right now. Oh my gosh, dude, what? Oh my gosh, it wasn't juicy enough. Absorbing the power of the sun, 60 degree into the hole. Dude, I think you used way too much photosynthesis. That's good for, what is that, par? Woo! On to the next hole with a double bogey. All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'm not trying to jinx myself. I'm just trying to speak the truth. I think I'm gonna skunk Ronald. There's no way he's gonna beat me in any of these match plays or the Smith Cycle Cup. I'm calling it right now, Smith Cycle Cup is mine, baby. Dude, I don't know what you're talking about. Here we got a par, oh, par three. About 200 yards. All right, guys, hole number 16, par four, 202 yards. I've got three wood in hand. I'm fighting the wind a little bit, so we'll see how this goes. Alrighty boys, five iron in hand. Coming on a whim like Ronald, and I can actually make a five iron there. Time to make mama proud. Oh, that was so nice and tough. straight though. That went like 150 yards. <laughs> Check out this view, guys. We got this hole right here and the water. Sadly, we can't hit over the water, but a uh, nice view though. I don't really know what it is pond, lake, river, water, whatever. Okay, we got 70 yards into the wind. I'm gonna hit a really soft 52. Shoot, what the? Dang, that was not a great shot, guys. 
All right, guys, my bad shot landed over here. I'm uh, probably 70, 80 yards out from the pin. Uh, I got a pitching wedge. Looks like a pretty, not bad lie, but my feet are just gonna be uneven. Gotta go. Dude, I thought that was well onto the green. No way. What the? Nice view again. Hey, guy, there's never any suspense when you're putting for birdie, but when you're holding out for par? That's when it gets serious. Not too bad. I think Ronald really needed this hole, so he's got to make this. Here's the hole out for par Dylan was talking about. He just didn't know it was coming on this shot. Like I said, that pin's looking juicy. One of us has got to hole out, like eventually. Come on, it's got to happen. <laughs> Dude, that was actually the line I wanted. I just hit it a little too hard. Sending it. Yeah, it must have been the wind, dude. I don't know what else it could have been. Oh, a little more break than I anticipated. It's okay, that gets me in for double. I'm just gonna keep the streak alive. Doubles, they keep on rolling, baby. Oh my gosh, dude, we have to go high up for here. Oh, remember this is where it gets wide open? What the? Dude, you cannot miss the fairway here. But I feel like, honestly, I feel like we might. But yeah, maybe. Alright, par 5, 500 pretty much 550 yards, got driver in hand, gonna try to put one in the fairway, give ourselves an opportunity to get there in regulation. Ooh, smash factor equals smashed. Right now I'm worried about one thing and one thing only, just letting it fly. <laughs> That's one. Oh man. That's perfect. Dude, that was really low on the face. Low on the face, low flight. Down the middle though. I think you're like way ahead by now. I'm just looking to have fun on these last few holes. I've only won like maybe a couple holes today. Tied a bunch. You went ahead a few times. It is what it is, man. Yeah. Alright guys, four iron, green's that way, I'm not looking to get it on honestly, just get it close. I really hope I hit that the right direction and then it rolled a lot. Alright guys, so I know that I said like you're a loser if you lay up, and that's still true. Um, I'm hitting 8 iron, now in my head I think 8 iron, there's a possibility you could go 300 yards, so I'm not really laying up. Alright, here we go. Thinks he's Kyle Berkshire or something. Ooh, little draw up there. Honestly, not 300 yards, but I think we're in play for a good third shot. Onward! <laughs> Dude, I knew I held on for a reason. <laughs> Alright guys, we got a, uh, what do I have? 5 iron, it's about 190 out-ish. Oh no. Low roller that almost got up there, honestly, not gonna lie. Okay, I think I heard him say 9 iron. He's right there. Green right past this big tree.
I have no idea where it went. Was it good? Really? Yeah. Alright guys. 56 stick. Just gonna shoot it up to that green. Oh. It's beautiful. Good bounce and everything, dude. This hole's looking good. Oh my gosh, no way. Dude, guys, these greens are soft. This green in particular, you can dude, literally see the look. shoe marks. Look at this, ready? Like, oh man, they're so soft. Nice. This is for my par here. I'm looking to make it. Go to I-9. Too much gray, or not, a, I don't know, I don't know. So we kind of forgot to record, but um, I actually lost my ball and I found this cool little pinnacle ball or whatever and that's what I played. So we forgot to let you guys know. So Ronald actually took the dub. He got six on that hole. So I take I technically got seven. Um, and yeah, we're moving on to the next hole number 18. Oh, shoot. <laughs> in hand on the last hole once again just gonna let it fly it's about 330 335 ish to the green right over that hill oh baby dude that thing was striped with a little bit of fade driver in hand last hole like Ronald said I already took the dub in match play but uh Schmidt cycle cup once again who knows I can get like a 43 on this hole Oh, that's going to end up right by mine. Right side in those trees over there. Yeah, it's a little bit left of that tiny tree. All righty, boys. Last hole. Red pin. Pitching wedge. 130 out. Let's make something happen. Oh, it's a bit right. I didn't see it, honestly. Dang, it's just short and left of the bunker. 122 into the wind. I'm going to hit a 9 iron here for the last hole. Looking to make a hole out. You know, we actually always try to do that, but plans don't always work out. Oh, oh no. God. Dude, how did that even happen? I towed it. So here we go, gotta flight it over this tree here after that unfortunate second shot. Nothing out of, out of play though. Oh my God. Dude, I was just so worried about getting it over that tree that I was, I don't know. After tumbling down from the tree, I ended up right here. I'm just gonna run it up to that green. Woo! Just on the edge of the green. Okay, this is gonna be the last shot of the day, guys. 60 degree. Not a bad little chip. Here we go. I think this is for par or bogey or something. Figure it out later. But uh, putting it. Oh, dude! I did not think it would break that much. Ooh, spicy. Last putt of the day, baby. That's how you finish off on a solid feeling putt. All right, guys, that concludes the Chalk Mountain Golf Course. Uh, Dylan definitely won. We'll put the scores on the screen right here and right here. Uh, but it was a pretty nice course, had a lot of fun. We'll see you guys on the next course. I'm gonna drive over there right now to the hotel. Should be a good ride. Yo, guys, so we just got the phase subs. Have not been able to try it yet. New online restaurant we ordered it through doordash of course i got the easy app and dylan got the rug father i'm gonna try these out see how they are and we got special drinks too like special lemonade I'll tell you how those are too I'm like what you gotta get those pickles out oh my dude those are thick pickles i'm gonna have to take those out right away 
I don't want any more of their flavor seeping in. Right away. I'm trying the lemonade. I ordered like passion fruit lemonade. I swear it's just a regular like fountain drink. So I don't know if they messed up or it just has no flavor, but yeah, it's not that good. It, well, it's lemonade. Like you can't get lemonade wrong, but it's not like anything special. Okay, face subs right here. It's honestly, I'm gonna be honest, presentation, not great. I mean, it looks pretty, uh, not like the picture. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite right here. I did take out the pickles and pepperoncinis and then like the onions kind of fell out with them. So it's whatever. But yeah, here we go. Honestly, the meat is really, really good. And like the guacamole, dude, honestly, it's really good. I, I'm, I'm a big fan. Presentation did not do it justice, but it's pretty good, guys. Yeah. Oh, wait, it's a pull here, okay. So the packaging on these things is interesting. I don't know what's going on here really, but packaging isn't really what matters. It's one, what's on the inside that counts. Oh shoot, I forgot, I, dude, I definitely gotta take these pickles off. I swear it said it was coming with Fritos and they put Doritos on it. So I don't know if they messed up again, just like my lemonade, but I could try it out. The bread seems kind of cool. Like that's the one way I could describe it. Take a nice meaty bite. Honestly, I didn't get much meat. Hold on. Not bad. I'd say I would definitely order again, but maybe not the lemonade. <laughs>